this week not because I'm doing anything interesting but I want to keep up this like consistency of posting once a week or once every 10 days and I'm heading into the city today I want to do some shopping for our home we want to get a new throw blanket and I just kind of want to see what's out there and then I'll sit at a coffee shop and do some writing and a little bit of work yeah that's basically the plan for today. I'll take my camera along with me. It's kind of a nice, calm Thursday, so I'm hoping no one will be in the city. And yeah. red spot right here <laughs> okay um yesterday i came home around seven or eight i ended up just roaming around and enjoying the city i really love it like on the weekday when nobody's there and then i went to my favorite restaurant cafe bar called epistrophe and did some work there and then just like had a glass of wine at the bar they like topped up my drink and I'm like, I guess I'm having another glass of wine. Came home and watched Bridget in with my roommate because she hasn't seen season one or two yet. So that was my plan of yesterday. It's April 1st, so I wanna kinda sit down and do some journaling, set my intentions for the month. A lot is happening this month. It's my birthday, April 17th. Like just so many birthdays. My roommate's birthday, my birthday, my best friend's birthday, my sister's birthday, my other friend's birthday, just like, a lot of them <laughs> and then i fly to paris april 26th so yeah a lot is going on yeah so i just want to journal like calm my nerves get organized for a fun little Saturday with my best friends. The weather is so, 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 so nice finally and my girls are free finally. This is like the stars aligned. I finally get to see them on a nice weather on a Saturday, blessed. Anyway, I'm dressed like really all black, which is honestly too dark for today's weather, but it is what it is. All right, um, I'm already late, so I'm gonna get my stuff, head out. I might meet Samantha, the girl who I did the like New York Fashion Week runway thing for. I still have her clothes, so I might meet her and exchange some stuff with her, and then, yeah, I'll take you guys along. River. Look at this weather! Oh my God. All right, meeting my friends for Prince Street Pizza real quick and then going for coffee, drinks. Of course, there's a massive line. The menu.
食べるところを見るとね可愛い顔して食べてね<笑>
so hard on my website for me and she did it with a smile and it made me so happy and the whole process was just super lovely so I want to get her something special. because today's the first day that I am basically a 95% writer, 5% marketing manager. This is the first time I have almost full control of my day working what I want to work. The way that my work, work schedule is set up is basically I get my assignments and I get my deadlines. So long as I submit my articles on time, I can write them in the morning at 5 p.m., at 10 p.m., it doesn't really matter. So super excited this has kind of been like the end goal not the end goal but like a big goal within my freelancer career um just being time independent and location independent so yeah here's to a huge milestone achievement for me and another super exciting news is that i have finally launched my website it's called flore uh it's basically like a big not a big. It's basically a uh, media outlet slash blog where I write really what I want to write instead of getting my assignments from like publishers. So yeah, anything that I want to cover, I'll do like a screenshot, screen recording here. I basically write on floor. So I would love if you guys would check that out. My roommate and my sister helped me out so much with it. My sister designed the logo for me um, and my roommate like basically coded um how i wanted it to look so she put in so much time and work into this so thank you so much my love if you're watching this she's a queen an angel bless her um but she codes as a profession for her work so um super lucky convenient for me uh and she helped code the website into like the design that i wanted to look super excited it took a lot of work and time two failed web developers a year in the making um maybe you remember me talking about it last summer in lisbon but basically a lot went into it it's a simple website but still there's a lot behind it that uh needed fine tuning so mean the world to me if you checked it out i will link it down below uh and please check in every once in a while and read some fun articles about life travel wellness your mind anything so yes um i'm just gonna spend the day working editing writing um i want to clean my room a little bit and then i think it's the end of this video um so thank you for watching